Good evening, everyone. I'd like to welcome you to our town, Miami Township Trust Day meeting of February 6, 2023. I'd like to call this meeting to order. We have two trustees and one on the way. Here he comes. Hi, Don. We just got started. You have not started. We have our minute taker here and our Dan, our cemetery and roads guy, Chief Colin Altman, wonderful Yellow Springs News, Lawrence Shows, and special guest. David Henry. Of course, County David Biden. Hendry, County <laughs> Prosecutor. That's Hayes, just hey. FYI. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh you said me not. Yeah, that's. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I like, I'm first sorry. like to call for the adoption of, we have three sets of minutes to adopt. Um, January 18th, and this was the one where Chris wasn't with us, so we had a chance to read them down. I found no errors. I uh, move adoption of those minutes. And I'll second that. Moved and second to approve the minutes of January 4th, <coughs> 2023. Uh, Mr. Uh, Ms. Moyer? Yes. Yes. If I might butt in, I'm sorry. Generally, at least traditionally with, with, with our board, we ask for a motion and we ask for a second. If there's a second, we ask if there's any further discussion. If there's no further discussion, then we ask for the vote. That. Got it. Do you have discussion? No, he's just making the kind of order. Oh, you're just pointing out. Okay, then I entertain that we accept the minutes of that we adopt the minutes of January. I entertain a motion that we adopt the minutes of January 14th. Special. Um, it was a special meeting that we. I thought we already. 14th. Is, that is this is 14th. We have two sets of two special meetings we've had in between. And you may not have gotten a copy done. Um, I have the 14th in front of me. It was, um, so do I hear a motion to adopt them? So moved. A second. And is there any further discussion about these minutes? I have none. Pretty straightforward. Done. Pardon? Any discussion? Nope. Um, Move and second to adopt the minutes of the January 14th special meeting. Um, Mr. Moser? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Ms. Moyer? Yes. Motion of minutes adopted. Okay. Moving on to January 20th. Um, I entertain a motion to adopt the minutes of January 20th. It's a special meeting as well. That was the one where we discussed. Oh, did I have a, hear a motion? I so move. Second. You weren't technically there. I'll I was going to say, I didn't think I was there. <laughs> but you looked at me like that. <laughs> exactly. I'll, I'll second it. I'll second it. Any further discussion? It was the, the resolution we um, passed to employ the services of the ACE loan at a, at a limited level for 2023 regarding the King and Solon. So I moved and you seconded. Any further discussion? Hearing none, may we vote. I move and second to adopt the minutes of special meeting January 20th, 2023. Mr. Allister? Yes. Ms. Moore? Yes. Minutes approved? Thank you. And now I move, I entertain a motion to pay our bills in the amount of 48000 317 Excuse me. What I read is one is 98. The total. Forty-eight thousand. Yeah. Forty-eight thousand. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm on, I'm on, never mind. I'm on my minutes. Oh. I'm on the last three minutes. Right. Okay. We paid bills last time too. 
uh, pay our bills in the amount of $98,124.96, breaking it down, general fund $5,060.79, fire fund $10,398.87, EMS billing $26,219.78, Cemetery $1,450, Road and Bridges, total of $54,995.52. So moved. I second. Any discussion? I move. Um, I'm just remarking at the fire fund and how small it is. Um, well, got to add that to the EMS fund to get the payroll. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's what you should do. Um, any more discussion? Mm -hmm. Hearing none, may we vote? Uh, move and second to that we pay the bills in the amounts of the amount of $98,124.96 as enumerated. <coughs> Mr. Wizard? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Ms. Meyer? Yes. Motion approved. Mm. And we have some correspondence this week from Dodds Memorial and the RPC board meeting, um, Ohio Cemetery Associate Awards student. Pipeline newsletter. A, re a request for, maybe we'll save that until we, the fire thing. A request for a prairie burn. I don't know who saw it calling from mm -hmm. TLT. OTA, legislative alert, national opioid settlement notice. Andrea Rickford, uh, about cemetery name error. Thanks for taking care of that, Chris. Um, and the OPS, o OPSB deadline for um, the application that we turned in. Um, League of Women Voters, Directory of Public Officials. I was going to ask you guys if we participated in that and if we had any changes. Um, I sent them a bunch of changes a couple months ago. I don't know whether this is a confirmation of that. I didn't, I didn't double check, but we look at it. Um, MBRPC Project Survey for Local Projects. I didn't. They were looking doing a survey, see if there were any local projects, transportation projects that were locally funded. I didn't know that, that we um, have any to report. But we can talk I about think, that later. I think not. Go ahead. On the Ohio Connect newsletter of the Ohio, the OBM. Um, any public uh, comments on the agenda? Any? agenda that the public would like to yeah, yeah. ask a quick question on a, on a piece of correspondence before we get too far mm -hmm. and, um, since we have our uh, illustrious prosecutor with us this afternoon um, prosecutor Hayes yeah, back on this national are you familiar with the national opioid settlement notice that the county received I am. does that involve the <laughs> the group that uh, Dick Gould put together about six months ago that met once and has never met again? I believe that that's the case. Okay. <clears throat> that's where, that's my last understanding of it. Um, but I know that uh, things have been happening since then. So, do you have a, go ahead, I'm sorry. Then, Only that I, that at the last of the two meetings that I attended that I ever knew about, I was appointed county representative to the Opioid Foundation Committee, Commission, whatever the thing is. And I just you know, never heard things since then. So. so if I understand you correctly, you are a member of Mr. Gould's group. I am. Uh, and, but it has, you have yet to convene, to your knowledge. Maybe I'm not in good standing, but I just, I've, I've never heard anything since then. I just figured, well, it's going through the system and, you know, the, the big players are splitting up the money, and when it gets to Green County, you know, then we'll start our work. Maybe this is it. I don't know. I haven't heard other than this. Well, I'm certainly happy to um, dig and look into that for you and find out an answer. What might be the order of magnitude of money? Not much. I mean, $10,000? Yeah. For, for us. But I would encourage you, if you haven't already, to reach out to the commissioner. But I'll certainly make well, it Well, that's what I was going to say. I, I really should. I just got this letter like yesterday, so yeah. it's, it's not been sitting around. Well, who, the, who's the letter from? Is it from that group or is it from the law firms that 
are distributing the money? It's from the law firms distributing the money. All right. All right. I'll ask Dave. Well, if you would like, I can, if you would, you know, if the trustees would like, I, if you make me a copy of that letter, I can take it with me and I can make inquiries tomorrow and get answers to what the process should be from this point on. I agree, but I think your time is better used to, uh, you know, apprehend and, and incarcerate the, the villains of Green County and, and which I'll might, follow, I might be the attorneys who are supposed to be I'll follow, I'll follow this money. I have a good number of people who work for me who take care of that. <laughs> and my, one of my responsibilities, as you know, is to represent Township Trustees, and I'm certainly happy to make an inquiry on your behalf. That's Thank you. Little. If, if I find myself at a, at a wall, you, you'll be the first person I call looking for sledgehammer. Okay. All right. Thank you very no much. No problem. Um, Madam Chair. I didn't ask um, the other two trustees if you have any new or old business for them. Don. I'm not going to bring up anything this month or this week. Okay. I had that one question that we talked about, the, the response from Assistant Prosecutor Caulfield about the solar uh, you know, restrictions that she responded to us a couple of days ago that didn't get into correspondence, I guess. But. Okay, we could, we could visit that quickly, although I don't know. Sure. Get down into what, what, what were you thinking about? Well, we, I, I, I think we should probably put it into the next meeting's okay. agenda. Because no one's had a chance really to review it. All right. Fire Department report. All right, thank you. Since the last meeting of the board, there have been 35 EMS incidents and eight fire. Nothing of real significance. <clears throat> uh, township, uh, our tornado siren that we own that's in Clifton currently dates from the early mid mid 50s, if not earlier. Um, and uh, we wanted to replace it, but they're very expensive. But luckily, Mindy Lane at Queen County Central Communications was able to get I think, Homeland Security funding to uh, cover the replacement of six sirens right? the town, uh, around the county and ours as well. So the Clifton siren will be replaced with a modern uh, siren like they have here in Yellow Springs that rotates. Um, it will be on a taller pole you know, or tower, I'm not sure which, and uh, a little bit louder. So, uh, I could have sworn that, that we had been granted something to replace that about 10 or 15 years ago, and it happened, but I guess it didn't. No. No, no. Uh, okay. We would look for grants, and they were hard to come by. Mm -hmm. it was so I'm not sure what magic Mindy worked, but it's good for her. Very good. Yeah, great. So it's about, probably about $30,000 plus dollar yeah. investment. Uh, so. That'll be very nice. And it covers everything. Mm -hmm. so, Super. We have to do is plug it in. Um, uh, staff will be going through confined space rescue training over the next several weeks um, through Cleveland State University. So it's a free class, yay, funded by the Public Com uh, Utilities Commission of Ohio. We're just negotiating on dates. Where do they do this? Here. And then um, we have a confined space simulator in the bay that was built into the the maintenance room. Mm -hmm. And then traditionally, um, we work with the village and they find us a couple storm sewers that the guys can go into. Mm -hmm. uh, given the amount of storm sewers, sanitary sewers, mm -hmm. um, and then farm facilities, uh, confined space is something that we've, we've been doing probably for about 10 years. So mm -hmm. that would be good. Uh, our new staff lockers arrived and have been um, inst installed put in place. <laughs> um, and thank you, Dan, for your efforts to try and help us. Um, FedEx lost the shipment, so the day they were supposed to arrive, Dan was standing by ready to go. And they were showed, even though the website kept saying, delivered by the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And uh, about a week and a half later, mm -hmm. they finally found it, and it shipped and showed up. So. Are they what you expected? Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. What, and everything, shockingly, came, you know, not dented, or I was just expecting that, you know. Yeah. Uh, and we got padlocks with them, which I don't remember ordering or seeing the spec, but I'm not going to say anything. So, so everyone's happy, and they've already locked the first person in the locker. <laughs> <That's> perfect. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Peyton fits in perfectly. So, mm -hmm. so thank you guys for that. Um, just a couple station issues. Uh, we had a minor bed bug incursion, but it's been taken care of. 
Um, and we've got this great new spray that uh, the bed bug people re recommended. That they, uh, the $500 bed bug people? Oh, yeah. They don't mess around with bed bug people. I don't understand. They recommended one, they didn't provide it? Oh, no, no, yeah, it's a different product. I mean, they came and sprayed and killed everything that may have been here, which I think were like three of them. There wasn't a whole bunch of infestation. Thank God, I'm not complaining. So what did they recommend that we buy for when? So they, the next uh, time? we bought, well, this is stuff that fire departments use to carry in the ambulance, because typically the ambulances are where we encounter these guys. Sure. Um, if you come out of a building, typically a residence, and you think, or, or you know for sure there's a bed bug infestation, you can spray this stuff on the bottom of your boots, and it kills them right away. Hmm. It is, I don't know what's in it, but <laughs> a lot of chemicals, but it smells like um, a distillery exploded in the bottle. So <laughs> what they said is you can't use it like prophylactically because it dries up so quickly. Hmm. But I, I, I guess bed bugs are functioning alcoholics. So <laughs> some alcohol just kills those guys right off. But we can put it on our, our uh, bags as well, and even before the Recurring. I've never really heard of us having a problem with bed bugs. We had two scares back in the old station. Mm -hmm. um, one which the same company came out and sprayed and, and remediated for us. And one occurred on a weekend and they couldn't get out. So uh, <laughs> Nate took five years off his life and uh, we bought some chemical called uh, Sayonara. Oh, no. <laughs> and he had to spray it. Um, and it was. <laughs> He had to wear a hazmat suit the whole nine yards. It was pretty scary words. stuff. Um, but it took care of whatever it was. Was that um, CYA? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, he was not willing to <laughs> no. take a few more years <laughs> off his life. So this you guys time. saw three and you haven't seen any since, right? Yeah, I didn't see any. You checked the little I, of the bit. I that. thought it was a misidentification, because okay. that happens a lot of guys. Like, oh my god, it's a big one. Like, that's a flea. You know, yeah. Which yeah. isn't good either, but... Um, so the guy, the company comes out and they inspect first, and the guy's like, oh, no, no, that's a, that's a bad thing. It wasn't as horrible as I've seen videos for. Yeah. Or, or actually seen in some residences around here, so... <laughs> um, the shoreline issue with the ambulances has been fixed. Oh, jeez, Joseph and Mary. Uh, the shorelines themselves are bad, and we're causing the um, the breakers to trip both in the station and the, on the vehicles. So they've replaced both cord reels, which are surprisingly and shockingly expensive, mm -hmm. and replaced uh, an outlet in the ceiling that was wired incorrectly, apparently. So we did not. Uh, Denny tried to get in touch with the original electric guy, CT, mm -hmm. I guess it is, and they go, "Oh, we're going to go to both of the half." So finally, just called Triac because we've worked with them before. Mm -hmm. uh, part of the cost is they had to get a lift yeah. to get up there. Yeah. He asked us if we had one. <laughs> yeah, you can get on my shoulders. <laughs> That's the extent of our lift. But <laughs> um, so those are fine. They've been working now for a week and a half, and nothing has tripped or smoked or anything else that was happening. Okay. Uh, the air compressor was out of service uh, for a little bit because of moisture, a moisture issue related to the dehumidifier. It's been repaired. I think it was repaired under warranty. But it was repaired in the past, but he seemed to indicate it was a warranty repair. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the rear apparatus bay uh, concrete apron is spalling, which is crumbling and falling. But not crumbling, I shouldn't say that. Okay. What? Spalling, which is flaking off, basically, which was not supposed to happen because we took great pains to use the non salt salt last season for the year they told us. And, uh, and now it's, the front one's fine, the sidewalks all appear fine. Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters? No. Um, I mean, um, set them up. I'm sorry. I, <laughs> don't know. Fred Cox. Is it Fred from? Yeah. We'll start at the top. Okay. Then we'll work our way down. He was the, uh, what, uh, Fred Koga? No, not Fred He's Koga. He's the Fillmore. The Fillmore. Owner. Okay. Yeah, what? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it may not be easy to just off the top of your head list stuff, but what have we found uh, from our original construction that had problems? Yeah, we've had, I mean, this this one's probably the, the biggest potential issue, but um, I mean, we've got things that may have been spec issues, things that may have been 
you know, there's always break-ins in a new building, not break-ins, but I mean, breaking in things in a new building. But primarily, I mean, we had a roof, we thought it was a roof leak, but it turned out to be the stuff that they seal the roof with, just dripping into the building. Um, we've had problems with the electric in the bays, um, the heat, especially in this side, it's always 40 degrees below zero, or, mm -hmm. well, it's always 40 below in this side, uh, and on my side, actually. <laughs> Uh, and then the weird humidity issue in the bunk rooms, uh, this compressor, bay doors. Bay doors have been the biggest problem. Uh, and how much? Other that, though, it's fine. How many of the, those issues have we been able to ameliorate? Have they been the taken uh, seriously <laughs> by the contractors? Uh, we have. Well, we, once the year, uh, at the year warranty period expired, we have moved on from many of the contractors to people that we've worked with for years that we know do a good job. So we no longer use the same door contractor. Uh, we're not using the same electrician. The door issues, I mean, they're ongoing. Um, the original contractor blamed this, the engineer for not install, not specking them correctly. The engineer responded with the actual spec from the manufacturer which was exactly what we installed, so a lot of fingers pointed. But nothing horrific. I mean, we haven't had anything of epic terribleness that would keep us out of service or you know, plumbing exploding or anything like that. So. Well, there was the ADA toilet issue that they were yeah. in the ADA. Mm -hmm. They were supposed to be. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was, yeah. Everything's going along swimmingly. I don't think it was, it's been that bad for the size and complexity of the project and the age oh, yeah. that we're now no, there are a lot of working on for years. Nightmare yeah. stories that I've heard from other fire departments yeah. and other just facilities yeah. that they've had a lot far worse but, problems. So. But we've told Jason of each of these, not that he's going to solve them, but that he would know about the subcontractors to maybe not use them. Yeah, I mean, he's been looped in on most things. I, mean, kind of, I haven't really discussed anything with him about the concrete yet, but I just noticed that Friday. I just stopped it. So, oh, this is great. But yeah, other than that, I mean, I mean the, the stuff that a lot of times will break that guys have had, like HVAC units or water tanks, that kind of stuff, not like they would, but we haven't had any of those issues. So, we had that hot water tank fiasco. <laughs> The beginning that yeah. <laughs> was under warranty, but wasn't uh, wasn't kind of under warranty. <laughs> wasn't the right warranty or something? Right. But but hey, it all works now. Man, hot water. So yeah. Uh, oh, I just for FYI, and any help you guys might know what these documents are. This trying to get our our SAM number, which as you will recall, we must have to receive federal aid. Um, revalidated uh, column four, okay, for start for start year and year. They need something that's like our, our articles of incorporation. And um, as best we can tell, you can quit asking for that. You know, we're stuck. I mean, like we're we're, and I'm like, I don't understand what craziness it's around somewhere. I mean, you know, because they're asking for our articles of incorporation. As far as I know, we don't have those because we're, you know, tell look in records of eighteen. Thirteen. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. That's where they are. Um, they they also asked for a EIN um, verification letter from the uh, tax exempt determination letter from the IRS. I spoke with the IRS after an hour and a half on hold, and uh, discovered that as a government entity, we don't get one of those because we're just a, no one determines us to be tax exempt. We just are. Mm -hmm. So they're sending me a letter that says that, <laughs> which I don't know if it's going. Uh, he, no, can, he can write this. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how. I mean, every government entity who needs to get federal aid, which is almost everybody, everybody, has gone through this process. I did send an email out today after one part of banging my head against the wall to some of my township compadres to ask them what they've done. So I'm hoping to get something easy back. Either that, or they somehow all have articles of incorporation somewhere that we don't. So, yikes. And then one last thing, which I forgot to put on your thing. I apologize. 
Um, House Bill 509 passed last year. Mm -hmm. What 509 was is part of the every X amount of years the state of Ohio looks at all the things so the governor or the lieutenant governor can drop all the regulations in the trash can and all that fun stuff. So this was a lot of stuff recommended by this group called the Buckeye Institute, uh, a very conservative think tank, mm -hmm. um, who wants us to be more competitive. So all these things affecting every certification the state came out to lower things. And there's a whole bunch of craziness. But the biggest one for us in the public safety was we are, we and every other fire department in the state is currently an approved continuing education site, which allows us, through our medical director, to offer continuing education credit for EMS to our staff, which we've done and continue to do. Um, the new bill came out when this law was, was passed. They substituted somehow the term approved for accredited. Mm -hmm. Accredited agencies are places that Clark State, mm -hmm. those kind of like that certify people. Uh, we used to have that, but it was so much of a hassle to keep that up in terms of finance and everything. Uh, so now they're looking at this these rules take a, uh, take effect April 6th, and um, unless something is done to fix that, um, none of us will be able to grant continuing education credits. And most of the accredited places, the colleges and the career centers have said, there's no way they have the bandwidth or the staff to take on 1,800 fire departments in the state. Mm -hmm. um, so the Department of Public Safety, which houses the Division of MS, is working with legislators, um, apparently it was a drafting error. Who knew? Who knew? Because is it typo? Yeah, because they can't find you know our our legislative agent at the Fire Chiefs Association who work in the ropes and they can't find any legislators like oh no no, no that was my thing. Uh, so they think it's just a drafting error, but of course because it's the law you just can't go back and change it. So they're what looking the, what at what's the word they brought this, should have written instead of credit. They, they shouldn't have changed it, those wordings at all. We just kept it as approved. Someone in the Legislative Services Commission should have caught that. Yeah. So we, the Ohio Fire Chiefs, working with public safety and the fire marshal, are trying to, they're trying to insert a fix into the first bill that has to be paid, uh, passed, which is the, the transportation mm. bill, which has to, apparently has to be done by March 31st. So hopefully that'll be done, mm. and then we'll be fine. Now, of course, in the funny way that things work, so. Division of MS has to have these new rules to enforce this new law, but the rulemaking process takes forever in Ohio through the JCAR thing and everything. So they were like, we don't know what we're going to do because <laughs> after April 6th, it's going to take us nine months to two mm -hmm. years to get the rules changed. So, really? but, so hopefully we'll get that fixed. Uh, and Otherwise, it should be like three months. Yeah, unfortunately, it is proven not to be, is what we found with, uh, currently. I mean, I, I mean, literally. It oh, it should be function an easy. within three months. Yeah, it should be an easy. But without so. anything fancy. So we'll see. But it should be fixed, hopefully. The people have been responsible. Anybody yeah. have anything else for the fire chief? I have a couple of things. Oh. Um, did you ever get, or did you ever tell me the current status of? Denny's work on the specifications for the new chassis that we I believe the in. specs are all done. He was on the phone the other day with the guy from Pencare, who's our dealer. Um, and we were discussing things and then I was off for today, so he's not here today. So I will find out for you tomorrow and let you know. Okay. That's on, Thank you. That's on fire engine. Ambulance. Right. Right. Um, We have an issue that uh, hopefully will be taken care of soon, but we keep getting final notifications for uh, water bills from the old fire station that we never paid from the, the, the old one. I'm not blaming you, sorry. <laughs> I was going to say, we, why aren't you paying those bills? No. <laughs> yes, the old oh, fire wow. station, yes. for, uh, for a, Well, I, I did find out today that it's for the amount of period, it's from the period of time from when we notified, well, when they finally figured out that we notified that we sold the building and we were no longer responsible for the, for the uh, utilities, which was like February 20th or 10th or something like that, up till March 3rd when Iron Table actually took over the responsibility. So there's that period of time that apparently we owe, although we never received a bill for it, but I look. 
and these final notices did not include a copy of the bill, so we didn't know exactly what it was for. I've been down to the water utility people, and it's so old because this is 2020 or 2019, whichever, that they can't pull up a copy of the bill uh, to, to tell us. And I said, you know, we probably do owe it, but our auditors like to see, you know, a paper trail of something that we spend $450 for that we didn't even know we were going to And she says, oh, well, we'll get you something. Okay, so. We'll see. I just thought I'd okay. throw that out because that's a real interesting. If we receive a certified letter from the village, I'll make sure it gets to your mail. Yes. <laughs> they threatened to turn the utilities off. Well, well, At 225 Court Street? Yeah, um, go right ahead. <laughs> I'm sure someone would pay it then. I think we asked them to turn it off. Didn't the same, uh, a similar thing happen with the heating bill during that period of time? Yeah. yeah. And we paid all those. Yeah, I remember. So this is one that's. We just haven't heard of from the last year, and so a whole lot of water use between November and. I think November. this was electricity. Oh, oh electricity. Okay, oh, I thought you said water. I thought you said water. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. electricity. Electric I mean, still shouldn't have been that much. Just this. Yeah. There was no limit except Richard. Ah. Richard. I'm down. Just doing no. Richard. That's all um, I have. Okay, <laughs> that's all I have for fire. Cemetery and road report. Okay. Before we, may I, I'm sorry, Madam Chair, may I interrupt? Of course. <laughs> okay, thank no, you. No, no, really. Thank you I, very I, much. I, I hardly wait to hear what you have to say. Uh, because we have special circumstances and special guests, I would like to uh, request an executive session for the purposes of employment compensation, review, hiring, firing, general malaise of people, whatever else is incorporated in there. I know exactly what you're talking about. Okay, and I would like to invite our special guest prosecutor to join us. So I want to do this properly. And um, our and our road superintendent administrator. Um, road guy. The, the proper thing to do is to open that meet, close this meet, open that one, close this. Mm -hmm. Have a motion to go into executive I, session. I just made yeah. that. And I'll second. And so. And so it is so, do we have to do a little bit? It is, no, it is so at um, 6, 535. Okay. That's good. Okay. I would, um, we got to dig on our audit that said we, we need to properly um, adjourn a executive commission meeting. How do I, how do I? not adjourn. Huh. Okay. There are no exactly. minutes, so we, we don't adjourn. We just. Okay. I move to return to general. Now that's correct. Thank you. Okay. And is there a second? Yes, I second. If I can, if I can. Sure. Time being 5.56. Okay. And your report on the uh, discussions or the what we're doing as a result of these exercises, what, <laughs> what changes? We, we, have to, we have to report on what we have no action. You have to either say no action or say the action, one of the two. Um, we report no action. Um, thus far, we've sought legal counsel and we'll have an action when we determine what we should do. Okay. There you go. Thank you, Chris. Um, zoning inspector, he didn't. Wait, is there any other cemetery oh, oh, in the room? I'm sorry. Oh, yes, any other? Okay. Oh yeah, we haven't heard the cemetery yet. Oh my God! Since the last meeting, we've had two burials, four burials at Grim Forest. I have sold two spots in the Oak Grove, two more on the table. And I sold one today in the Natural. He wanted the Oak Grove, which is the Natural, but I still have two others that are from my list. Mm -hmm. Got back. Mm -hmm. Three of the Count Grim. Mm -hmm. I don't know what she's doing. So we'll find out on that email. Okay. Are um, you getting those messages that I've been sending, yeah. which are copies of emails mm -hmm. about? And I've made contact. Referrals. Okay, I just want to make sure. Well, yeah, I've made contact with everybody. Uh -huh. okay. And that's where I'm getting some of the sales from. And are you getting those copies? The copies that I signed? No, the copies that I, of the emails requesting information about the grave, which I send to Dan and copied you. Are you getting those copies? Okay, very good. All right, thank you. Lee. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. You're copying them to the trustee. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. 
Um, it's, I don't have much. I'm trying to get Brett to start on the electric. I thought he was going to do that like three months ago. It's been too wet and muddy for him. So. I was in contact with him today. And he's going to fix that breaker in that building. The breaker's bad in the concert. One of the breakers is bad. That's why it's going to Oh. So we messed with the guy working, but he's got a new breaker. He's going to stop by tomorrow morning and put it in. Okay. And that's about all I have for Oh, we call him Barry and guys. They haven't been here yet. Uh, no, they're they're working their way here. Okay, that's what I thought. I, I checked today and it didn't look like they Yeah, uh, if you didn't notice on the emails that back and forth with the people we bought the Con Barons for, and I wasn't happy with the position of the doors, crooked, and not only crooked, but you can put your fingers and they'll rock back and forth, and I said, that's not very secure. And since there was more than a couple, I thought uh, either I'm going to ask him to come and do it and see if he does it if he counts us for it or if we pay him. But either way, I, uh, they, they don't look very good. I mean, no, they, they don't. Yeah. You, know, you look from a distance, but when you get close. Right. So, but they, very yeah. happy to, to, you know, when his people are in the area to, to That's come. Why, that's what I thought. I just pretty sad. Same man in here. Yeah. 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 Anybody else have anything for Dan? Um, you probably, you may have noticed that we did our first try, we ordered some prairie seed and I see an area somebody's Yeah, we've been, um, there's ground. quite a bit of foxtail that invasive and we loaded it out and we did our eighth grade math and found out how much per square foot and we're going to try it and put um, some prairie seed over some of the disturbed graves and see, we're going to keep careful record and see what the result is. It's fun. Um, I think, uh, Burning, they don't hurt it because they're going to burn it pretty soon. No, we're not. We're not burning it? Mm -hmm. Very sure. Uh -huh. They're my fault. <laughs> no. Oh, we did this. Yeah, we did it last year, right? Yeah, yes. and there's okay. quite a few. Every, I think yeah. I forgot right, yeah, to look year. it up. But now yeah, every right. other is typically what we do. And the, but they've been recommending for the, 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 the prairie naturalist told us every other was too often. So oh. I'll, I'll look back and ask. It's gotten mature enough that it, it doesn't need okay. it doesn't need to be burned to every and, year. And okay. I don't to put you on the spot, but did, did, did you respond to the request from? Like, multiple times. Did you hear back from her? Because okay. when I asked her, she says Colin never responded. Oh, yeah, I called and left a voicemail twice, uh, a message twice with someone who answered the phone. Oh, but I did email after the last thing you said. Oh. But that we don't burn it. You contacted anything. her yesterday. Okay, cool. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure. I said, that doesn't sound like Colin at all. That there must be something wrong. Um, fiscal officer report. Um, wait, 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 wait. Just hold on a second. <laughs> we can. How about a road report? How about, about a road report? <laughs> I didn't see anything going on with the roads, but I don't have the trained eye. Okay. So we're going to fill some potholes tomorrow because we have a few. Mm -hmm. Take care of that. We want to crack fill on high road. Mm -hmm. Probably next week. There's a lot of lateral cracks with their roads and we get the zero state. Will Zenia Township help you with yes. this? Yes, we'll find up for that. They're losing them. We got a guy's leaving, but yeah. they'll be able to help us. Okay. That's good. Not map will throw somebody over there. Yeah. So that's on the schedule. Mm -hmm. Get some guard ground replaced. That's actually gonna be the job for Wednesday for Brian on the guard ground supposed. The stuff that's been damaged the tree all on the last one. So mm -hmm. yeah. We're going to fix that. So next week will be practical. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's hmm. Okay. Trustees, anything else for Dan? I have a few things. <laughs> uh, did you want to report to the board your um, discoveries at the Township Convention and what you might have planned for replacing any uh, obsolete equipment? Um, well, see, I talked to some people up there and was able to purchase a bucket for the excavator, which we went over on our list. And I got some information on the bush hole, which we want to replace. So, get a on that. So, mm -hmm. And uh, other than talking to the crack, so, Mm -hmm. which 
I didn't talk to you clear, but we talked after we said we were interested in the machine, but we are not. So. Right. We can still get material from them, and of course, pretty good price, which you'll pull mm -hmm. through this end of this year. Mm -hmm. We need more material, we can get pretty good deal. Okay. But I never went to a convention like that. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. Good. I'm glad you found it useful. Um, I saw you there. I did. Spoke with you. You remember? Yep. Do you remember? Um, how's our trench drain project going? It's still in the works. Mm -hmm. How far into the works are we? Well, I'm trying to find out where the trench drain is. As soon as we'll get one, we'll get one. It's not really cheap, huh? it's just got twice that much. Don't any of your other township road folks? I'll, I will ask. You'll I have not, but I will ask. I will do some inquiries. I can call to, uh, I can call advanced drainage and see if they offer to. Okay, that's good. Okay. Where are we talking? In front of the Quonset Hut, the water stand. Uh, we call it Gulf Canal Lake. Yes. I guess. I guess we're going to pull them. Uh, yeah. Um, sale the old truck. Now that we have a new truck, we've got to get rid of an old truck. So we need to do it as a uh, public bid one way or the other. We could use the uh, government websites that are available to us, like the... Uh, yeah, whichever the one the, the county engineer uses, she has, they seem to have good luck you know, uh, getting a, a good purchase out of it. Uh, we could do it locally, just, you know, if you think there's, if there are people who would there are two people interested in like buying locally. I told them they'd have to submit a bid mm -hmm. for a certain amount. So. We could run an ad in the paper, of, you know, that says, you know, that it needs to be bid. And I'd like to see us do it locally if there's that demand. Uh, that's fine. And I would personally think that we should put a reserve bid on it of uh, at least $13,000. If that's, what, if that's what you're going to do. Uh, if it's, you think that? If it's going to come with a plow. It's a plow and then that old spreader. Yeah. yeah the truck's in pretty good shape now. I mean, it was. It's still a good work truck. Mm -hmm. It's got issues. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we can always rebid it or something, but I, I don't want to give it away. Right. Yeah. Okay. What What did we sell our last one for? Was 13 five. Is that right? Huh. But they, it was a battle on it, two people wanted it, and yeah. the one that got it went a little higher to see if could get it. Yeah. That's how that works. Hopefully we just put that in. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think about that idea? About selling our, our truck for yeah. $13,500? Mm -hmm. and, and to do it and to do it locally, at least to try and sell it locally, and before we put it out into the county uh, sales pool. There's no one. Um, legal restriction on how we have to sell it? Well, other than by public bid. Mm -hmm. Sounds good to me. Okay. Locally sounds good. Mm -hmm. You okay with that? Yes, just like the firehouse. Exactly, <laughs> just like the firehouse. <laughs> how so soon do I have to take it out of service? In the month? I don't know. Could I I'd like to use it a couple of times? Yeah. <laughs> for something you don't because want to use a truck, truck, truck for I don't want to use a Um. Yeah. Okay. In the month we'll have it up for sale. Okay. okay. Well, we'll, well, I mean, we'll, we'll craft a, yeah, a bid and, and we'll give them a couple of weeks to, you know, to, to put in the bids and then. Okay. They, I'm pretty confident about that 13,000. I know nothing about pricing old dump trucks, so. That would be the price. You would pay. <laughs> of the going rate. Okay. Uh, of the Board of Trustees of Miami Town. Sounds great. <laughs> Uh, all right. Anything else for? Yeah. Um, okay. No rush. <laughs> no, really. No rush. How's our project for resupplying uh, on a year-to-year -year basis the township road department? Oh. Mm -hmm. The project that I asked you to undertake of, of buying supplies uh, for long-term usage at the road department. Like filters. Filters, a battery for every piece of equipment they have on hand. Filters, 
all the wipers that we would need to have on hand for a year. We were going to buy everything we needed for a year and have it put in you know, new, because you've been cleaning up all that space now. Right. And you're going to buy new shelving. You were going to buy new shelving. And either put it upstairs or if you've got the wall space for it or wherever you want to put it. And you're going to get all that. It's ongoing, but we'll take care of it. It's ongoing? We'll get right on it. Yeah, we need all that. Years worth of oil. Years. Of course, you don't need much oil. Mm -hmm. 10,000 10, oh, yeah. miles of change now. Five thousand. You're going to do five? On the trucks. I mean, we're going to need change once a year when the service is going to be and everything. Okay. Well, again, let's not let that slide too long. Okay. You reminded me of something, Chris. Yes, ma'am. The roads tour we do, being, mm -hmm. this being my first year, was, was that thing we did, an annual, an annual event? Yeah, but we, we haven't. We haven't done that. We, we need haven't to. done that. Well, have we had, a, have we had a requirement for, uh, from I the we county always, engineer? I thought we always, so I haven't heard anything about when to submit. You know, what I haven't either. Doing it. We haven't had anything here. Because usually every year she wants to. You know, okay, why don't you check with her, or check with them, see when that, that date is. Okay. And we'll adjust accordingly. Okay, sounds good. I believe that's all I had for right. our road department. Um, I have a resolution from our fiscal officer. Resolution to entertain a motion to adopt resolution 2023-12. Amendment of temporary appropriation Whereas it is an ongoing process to accurately appropriate funds according to the needs of the township. Now therefore the trustees authorize an amendment to the following temporary appropriations. Um, general fund 7,700. Um, no, yeah, okay, yeah. didn't give a total on this. Do I have to read all these numbers? Uh, probably a good idea. Okay. Um, Salary township officer six thousand, auditing service two hundred five, travel and meeting expenses five hundred, office supplies increased by five hundred, and other expenses increased by four thousand. Gas tax fund increased by nineteen thousand nineteen nine hundred seventy dollars. Cemetery fund um, increased by six hundred for advertising and um, three thousand for contracted services. Fire levy fund advertising increased 300. Water and sewer increased by 200. And buildings increased by 3,000. Um, do I have a motion? I so move. I'll second. Hearing a motion, do, is there any discussion? Yes, I, uh, I'd like to ask our auditor uh, and I could understand it, you just don't want to answer. But you know I'm not the auditor, right? Excuse me. <laughs> Our Prosky. attorney. Uh, <laughs> I wish an outside expert. Uh, and maybe you're not exposed to this, you wouldn't really even have an answer, but uh, we have almost monthly uh, a, a series of changes in our appropriations. Is this normal? That I do not have the answer to. Okay. That is definitely an auditor question. Uh, have your fiscal officer contact the auditor. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to support this, but it. Why at the beginning of the year are we changing our budget so early? Well, if we had a fiscal officer in attendance, we might be able to get an answer to that. Yep. But since we don't, that answer will have to, you'll have to ask that one directly to the fiscal officer because she's not going to be here in a meeting. I have asked her. Okay. Uh, that's all. Uh, any other discussion? No, ma'am. Not for me. Hearing no more discussion. The move been seconded to, uh, to adopt resolution 2022-12 amendment of temporary appropriations as enumerated. Oh, Mr. Moocher. Yes. Mr. Hollister. Yes. 
Ms. Moore. Yes. The resolution is adopted. All right. Moving along. Um, Mr. Zoning Inspe Inspector is not here today. Our long suffering zoning inspector has a case of COVID 19. Oh, no. Yes. Sorry. It, it got Richard, too. <laughs> didn't mean to bring you after, down. After, after he got me three months ago. And, and me a month ago. So I guess it's rolling down the list. Uh, Dan, how have you been? Have you? Oh, gosh, I don't see it. <laughs> Okay, um, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, That's what four packs a day will do for you. You know, it blocks, yeah, it blocks <laughs> everything coming <laughs> in. No, no. <laughs> All right, standing committee reports. I have none for the MDRPC. Um, oh, second meeting of each month. Thank you. Oh, there's nothing wrong with that. No. Right, let, let's do it this way. Are any of the standing committees wish to report some new news? Well, I will only say that tomorrow night in this room, even though they didn't make arrangements with our fire chief, uh, the development corporation will have its annual meeting. Is that, hmm? Is that a, the regular time or are they doing That's the regular time. Okay. Okay. Can, can we pop back to cemetery real quick? Sure, please. Um, two things. Dan, I've been meaning to bring this up for a, a, a million years, but what do you tell people when they ask to have their pet buried with them, either fully or cremated? Man, we don't do pets. Okay. All right. I didn't hear the answer. We don't bury pets. People have to we don't do pets. Mm -hmm. Why someone else? Uh, we'll have to talk about that. Sorry, I was trying to figure out how that worked. Oh, I get it now, sorry. <laughs> now, as a board, we have the ability to, at our discretion, under certain guidelines, um, make such allowances. Mm -hmm. Do we have a book about that called like Pet Cemetery? <laughs> um, wow, where did you get that idea? It comes up all the time at cemetery seminars mm -hmm. uh, statewide. Yeah. Are there state laws about this? No. Well, yeah, that's an interesting question. Um, it depends on whether you are, if you're, if you're providing the cremation of the pet, you then have to have a separate place to bury the pet. Oh, okay, okay. I'm not positive about the, the rest of the, the guidelines, oh. but I think they are pretty flexible. And if we have any, you know, if we have any desire to offer that to the public, and I know at least in the last four weeks, uh, and that's why I was asking Dan, I, I've been approached um, more than twice about what our policy is, and and even even you know, to go to the point of well, what do I have to do in order to you know have the pet? Well, I think we should. I would like to review. I'm willing to do research and reviewing the state laws. I mean, you just said that you didn't think that was an issue, but I would like to review that. Okay, let me understand our. our you were willing to do that? Yes. Okay. I get asked that question about yeah, It raises all kinds of questions. You're saying you, I mean, these pet lovers, you know, the Yellow Springs pet lovers, they'd rather right. be buried with their pet. Mm -hmm. Some of them. Mm -hmm. That's not legal. I mean, with the, or you're talking about the yeah, section of the cemetery. Generally, and I don't want to speak totally, generally this is the cremated remains of the pet okay. that are either buried in the casket with the decedent or intermixed with the ashes of the cremated. Uh, we have a burial coming up, okay. which has the cremated remains of the pet. 
intermingled with the They're the already mixed in. Yeah, they're already mixed in. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. You're not going to refuse that. No. Uh, and I, I want to make, I just want to make clear what our options are. Uh, well, I have always said that. Mm -hmm. well, I'll, 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 I'll review my laws. Yeah, I've said that also. Yeah. I can't wait to hear your report, Don. <laughs> Me neither. I think I think Chris just wants to build upon his cemetery empire and stuff, <laughs> add another wing to the cemetery. I told you I was not going to put another wing on this year. <laughs> I, actually, I'm I'm intrigued because I've been doing burials since 1975, and I haven't. No one has ever brought up pets. You've been doing burials. Through the different Quaker fellowships. Oh, okay. Maybe that's a Quaker thing. Um, the, the, the last little part, I would like when Brandon has a spare moment or two, if he wouldn't mind going through Glen Forest and picking up branches mm -hmm. that are mm -hmm. here there. Some pile up by trees. And here, there, and everywhere. Yeah, by trees. Yeah. Thank you. And where do we take the branches? To a pit. To the pit. To the pit. To the pit. To the branch pit. Um, That's all I had for supplemental assembly cemetery. Um, does anyone in the room have any new business for us? You, you're, the trustees reported none when they asked. I still have none. Old business? I still have none. How about you? Okay. And I entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All set. <laughs> By acclamation, we are adjourned. Oh. I just yes. have a quick question. Oh, sorry. Um, so I just wanted to thank you for allowing me to be here, letting me participate in the proceedings. Also, I do want to make sure one of the reasons that I'm here is to make sure that you're satisfied as a group with the legal services that you're receiving from the prosecutor's office. Um, and if at any point that uh, is not the case, to make sure that each of you uh, individually or obviously collectively as trustees can reach out to me and let me know. Um, the quality of legal services that we provide is extremely important, obviously, to the proper functioning of the township. And it's something that I personally take very seriously. Uh, on a second note, the township association meeting in February uh, is for whatever reason on Valentine's Day, but and they've refused to move. But we it is being hosted, co-hosted by the Green County Common Police Court, the prosecutor's office, and the public defender's office. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be just a, an overview of uh, the legal system here in Green County. So if you haven't signed up already, we would certainly appreciate your attendance. That's all. Yeah, and I believe the last date as RSVP is tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And I RSVP today. Good, and I am going to be out of town. I'm sorry to miss it, though. Well, thank you for the information, and certainly thank you for your uh, attendance this evening. We uh, always appreciate whatever we see you. Good timing. Thank and you. We are adjourned.